friends. Today I wanted to read you one of my very favorite bat stories. It's called Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. I think you're going to like this one. In a warm and sultry forest far, far away, there once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how mother bat loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, mother bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. Do you see that little baby underneath the mom? They're going out to look for food. What do you think they eat? They're called fruit bats. I think they must eat fruit. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down on the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape. But the owl struck again and again knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were as limp and useless as wet paper. Down, down she went, faster and faster, into the forest below. The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet. Wrapping her wings around her, she clutched the thin branch, trembling with cold and fear. Mother, Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the baby bat could hold on no longer, and down, down she dropped. Thump. Stella Luna landed head first in a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three baby birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mama his pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for the crawly things that Mama Bird brought. Finally, though, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Plop! In dropped a big green grasshopper. Does that sound good for dinner? Mm -mm. Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and she slept at night. She ate bugs, even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing. Except for one thing, Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once, when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eee! she cried. Get back up here this instant! You're going to fall and break your necks! You see them all hanging on the side of the nest? The birds clambered back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped Stella Luna. You are teaching my children to do bad things. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Stella Luna promised. She ate bugs without making faces, and she slept in the nest at night, and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved like a good bird should. All the babies grew quickly, and soon the nest became very crowded. Mama Bird told them it was time to fly. One by one, Pip, Flitter, Flap, 
and Stella Luna jumped from the ne nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. Pip, Flitter, and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Stella Luna tried to do the same thing. How embarrassing. Stella Luna is not very graceful. It's hard for Stella Luna to land on the branch. I will fly all day, Stella Luna told herself, and then no one will see how clumsy I am. The next day, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna went flying far from home. They flew for hours, exercising their new wings. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We'd better get home or we'll get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna had flown far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. So the three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promised not to hang by my feet, Stella Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and she fell asleep. She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming near. Who do you think flies around at night? Hey, a loud voice said. Why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide and she saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down. You are, Stella Luna said. Well, okay, but you're a bat. Bats hang by their feet. You're hanging by your thumbs. So that makes you upside down, the creature said. I'm a bat. I'm hanging by my feet. And that makes me right side up. Stella Luna was confused. Mama Bird told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Wrong for a bird, maybe, but not a bat. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaved like a bird. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate bugs, stuttered one. You slept at night, gasped another. Oh, how very strange, they all muttered. Wait, 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 let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you, she asked. Sniffing Stella Luna's fur, she whispered, You're Stella Luna. You're my baby. You escaped the owl, cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. Come with me and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. Look at that upside down hug. Oh, I'm so happy they found each other. But it's nighttime, Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark, we'll crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in the darkness. Come with us. Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and she dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light were shining from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon, the bats found a mango tree, and Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. I'll never eat another bug as long as I live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. I must tell Pip, Flitter, and Flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. 
Come with me and meet my bat family, said Stella Luna. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang by their feet, and they fly at night, and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, I feel upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. Wait until dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We'll fly at night. When night came, Stella Luna flew away. Pip, Flitter, and Flap leapt from the tree to follow her. I can't see a thing, yelled Pip. Neither can I, howled Flitter. <coughs> shrieked Flap. They're going to crash, gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them. Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them up to a tree and the birds grasped a branch. Stella Luna hung from the limb above them. We're safe, said Stella Luna. And then she sighed. I wish you guys could see in the dark too. I wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied, and Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. How can we be so different and feel so much alike, mused Flitter. And how can we feel so different and be so much alike, wondered Pip. I think this is quite a mystery, Flap chirped. I agree, said Stella Luna, but we're friends, and that's a fact. You see Stella Luna's hanging upside down, giving her bird friends a hug. Here's some interesting things about bats. I wanted to show you this picture right here. Do you notice there's an arm with a hand and it has the thumb on the top of the hand? That's kind of like what a bat has on the top of their wing. So in this story, Stella Luna was holding onto the branch with that thumb on her wing. Isn't that interesting? Bats are not supposed to hang by their thumbs. They're supposed to hang upside down by their feet. And once Stella Luna was back with her bat family, they showed her exactly what to do. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you would like to learn more about bats and do preschool on your screen with me, you should sign up for virtual preschool. There's a link right down there. You can subscribe to this video if you want to read more books with me. I love reading books with my preschool friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.